We're here with Steve Case, one of the top entrepreneurs in America, one of the top venture capitalists in America, and now one of the top authors in America. Congratulations, Steve. Thank uh, you. It's great tell, to see. You know, tell, us, tell us about your book, Rise of the well, Rest. I spent you know, a decade traveling around the country trying to find entrepreneurs in different parts of the country, trying to support startup communities like, like here in the Detroit. We actually launched our first Rise of the Rest bus tour eight years ago in Detroit, so it's great to be back with this under 30 summit. And after spending the decade traveling around, these were fascinating stories about companies and also cities on the rise. Felt like I had to write the book and came out uh, last week and was immediately on the bestseller charts. So I, it's obviously resonating with the with people, which is great to see. Hey, well, congratulations. Uh, you know, one of the great stats in the book, of course, is that 75% of the venture capital goes to just three states, right, New York, California, Massachusetts. What's your advice now having traveled around and found all these great entrepreneurs for somebody who's not in one of those three states who wants to raise money to start, you know, to start that next great American business? Well, first of all, stay where you are. Don't feel like you have to go to Silicon Valley to raise money. In the last decade, one of the most encouraging statistics is 1,400 new regional venture firms have started up. They are, are seeding these companies in your area. So you almost certainly have local capital, figure out how to tap into that. If there's some strategic reason you need to be someplace else, you should consider it. But if you're leaving because, or you feel like you have to leave because that's where all the action is, that's where all the money is, that is starting to change. And over the next decade, I think it really will accelerate. Has the pandemic helped or hurt this push, this rise it's of the It's helped, I hate to say it because it's, you know, the pandemic was so tragic, but if you're looking for a silver lining in a difficult you know, period, it's, it has led people to rethink kind of how they work and how they live and where they work and where they live and has led to a dispersion of talent, the beginning of a dispersion of capital. So I think, you know, 10 years from now, we'll look back and say that that pandemic actually was the accelerant that really led for the, the Rise of the Rest cities to rise a lot faster and more companies to start and scale in these, in these other cities. Well, you know, Rise of the Rest is more than just geographic. You point out in the book, less than 10 percent of the venture capital goes to you know, women-based startups, less than 1 percent for black-led startups, so how do we change that? Well, part of it is going to these cities which are more diverse, and even this conference reflects that. It's, it's more diverse in terms of the entrepreneurs from other places and also you know, a more diverse mix of backgrounds. Over 40% of the companies we've backed now with our Rise of Rest Fund, which is 200 companies in 100 cities, mm -hmm. are diverse founders, either female founders or, or founders of color. So we're making a little bit of progress, but there's still a lot to be done on that front, front as well. Is there a favorite, you know, as you've traveled the country, what's, you know, who's your, most unusual entrepreneur that you guys have found and gotten behind? Well, I, I ducked that question because when you back 200 entrepreneurs, it's kind of being asked, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. who's your all favorite your children, child? Who's your, your favorite children, child? You of course, you love equally, all your children. Of I, I would say that there's some things in my heart about Detroit, which is why we started our first tour here eight years ago and why I come back every year or so. Uh, and, it's, and it's great to have the, you know, the, this Forbes event here. There's something about the Detroit story that really resonates, partly, as you know, the backstory that 100 years ago, Detroit sort of was Silicon Valley. It was. It was you know, when Silicon Valley was growing the, the, fruit. The assembly line. It was, you know, was the, the automobile here. was the hot technology of the day and sure. then lost its way. The year before we rolled in on our Rise of the Rest bus, the city of Detroit went bankrupt. Yeah. Uh, but it's you know, the last decade really right. been fighting its way back, and we've backed a number of companies here, Shinola, yes. StockX, you know, a handful yes. of others that, that really are part of this rebirth of, of Detroit. And that story is now happening all over the country, but people don't know it. That's, yeah. why, that's why I wrote the book. I think it will, anybody reading the book will be inspired by the entrepreneurs, intrigued by how many cities are rising, and be a little more hopeful about the future of our country. Well, again, spending time with you is hopeful. I know we got to go on stage, but thank you. First of all, we're in Detroit. Because of this guy, Steve Case, you made the introduction to Dan Gilbert, and now you got we've put over 10,000 people, 10,000 entrepreneurs through Detroit. So good, good luck, number. You know, it's rising up. It's amazing. And thank you, thank you for, for not just having so. conferences in, in the usual places like you know New York and California, but looking for different parts of the country to really shine a spotlight on. I'm sure most of the people who came to Detroit hadn't been here before. Some right. say, probably fell in love with the city and are going to start their companies here. That's what we want to have all over the country. Well, you're on your way. We appreciate everything you've done for the whole global, you know, national ecosystem. Thank you, Randall. Thank you.